Hello again, my friends. Today I want to read chapter 16, in which Bonnet explains his brilliant plan to get everyone home, and chapter 17, in which there is a tale in the gigantic giant goof, off, goof up by Sarah Cordell. You'll see why in a minute, why I want to read these. Chapter 16 in which Bonnet explains his brilliant plan to get everyone home. And there, my friends, is the entirety of chapter 16. Chapter 17, in which there is a tale. So, asked Eliza, this brilliant plan? Uh, said Bonnet. Right then, said Eliza, let's go. In the end, Bonnet did all of his expedition preparation very quickly. He just turned his face to the wall and let out a long, silent scream. A few moments later, Eliza Bonnet and Gertrude crept out of old tumble-down farm and tiptoed past the sleeping Chewy and the snoring too big as quietly as they could. Wait, wait for me, shouted Lavender just as they were edging past Nibbles who was curled up just next to the entrance. Prince Ludwig and I are going with you. Yes, wait for us, Prince Ludwig shouted merrily as he and Lavender came skipping through the cave hand in hand. Shh, said Eliza. Why do we need to be quiet, asked Lavender as she stepped on Nibble's tail. Nibbles opened her yellow eyes and in one swift moment, sprang to her feet. Oh, what a lovely creature, said Prince Ludwig, as Nibbles hissed and bared his teeth. Then she crouched down and launched herself at the nearest edible looking creature, which happened to be Gertrude. Ah, Gertrude cried, leaping into the air. Nibbles missed her by a whisker. She snarled. Hey, shouted Eliza, you great big brute, take that. Eliza fired an arrow at Nibbles and then another, but Nibbles quite literally shrugged them off. Run, Eliza screamed. So Gertrude ran for her life and Bonnet ran for his life. Bonnet made it out of the cave, but Gertrude was not so lucky. Unfortunately, Gertrude was so panicked that she just ran and ran and ran around in circles. Outside, Gertrude, outside, Elizabeth, or Elizabeth, Eliza yelled, but it made no difference. Gertrude kept running until she was dizzy as a squid in a seafood hurling contest. Finally, Gertrude did stop running, but only so she could fall over. When she looked up, she found herself staring at the large ginger colored face of Nibbles. Nibbles licked her lips. She crouched down. She sprang forward just as Prince Ludwig and Lavender strolled past. Now Lavender and Prince Ludwig were not at this stage taking any notice of Gertrude's imminent death. They were gazing deep into each other's eyes. As they gazed, Prince Ludwig walked straight into an enormous cludgeon, which toppled over and landed on Nibble's tail. Yow! Nibble screeched, leaping into the air. She hissed and whirled around to find out what savage beast had attacked her. Meanwhile, Eliza and Gertrude ran for their lives. This time, Gertrude managed to run in a straight line, and they raced all out of the cave and caught up with Bonnet, while Lavender and Prince Ludwig slowly strolled out of the cave. How peaceful it is out here in the countryside, said Prince Ludwig. Isn't it just, Lavender replied. And that, my friends, is the end of chapter 16 and 17. So... I just want you to wish you a happy day and keep smiling. You guys are doing a beautiful job and I am thankful for all of my families. Have a great day.